In this video, we are going to talk about how to use your own Word document template so that you can achieve your own look and feel in your documents or in your R markdowns. So let's quickly create an advanced Word document using the Office Down package. If you haven't got the package installed, you must install it. I'm going to remove all the unnecessary bits from this so that we can make a simple Word document. So I'm just going to delete everything. And by the way, if you are new to this R Markdowns, you can watch our detailed video on how to create R Markdowns using the Word documents. So this is the minimal setup which we need to create the R Markdowns now. So the idea is to create our own template. We'll come to that as well. So before that, we'll start working on creating some Word documents. So let me knit it first. So I've actually knitted it. This document had nothing but the headers the two headers which we defined as author and title at the top. So let's create a new R chunk like this. And I'm going to put the library, ggplot library in there. But you can also put all your libraries in the setup chunk which is above this chunk. as. And to keep this video simple, I just want to put it in a separate chunk. So we put some R code in the R chunk. And now I'm going to put some simple text outside the R chunk. So it doesn't have to be within the R chunk. So this is the first heading, heading 2, heading 3 and heading 4. So let's knit this document by pressing that button. So our Word document is being created now. And we can see that we have heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, etc. But we also have that code being shown which we don't want to. So one of the options within the code chunk is that we can echo equals false. That means it's not going to display anything which is there as a code. So if I run it now, you would see that the code is not being echoed anymore. Hey, but look at that. There's a warning message there. This is being generated from the ggplot2 library. We can also suppress that by saying warning equals false. So we are expecting that warning is also not shown. So that's good. It's not coming up anymore. But if we put these options in every code chunk, we'll have to repeat the same thing again and again. Instead of doing that, we can actually put it in the options chunk in the setup. So to do that, we can start adding our options like this. So we have figure.cap true message equals false. And you can see that I've added some additional options also like comment, warning, error, everything is false. We can also set the DPI or dots per inch to 300. And we can also set the echo equals false. So that should be good enough. So if we need it, our results should still be the same. So let's go back to our code. And we can see that we have two options. One is called source. The other is called the visual. So let's click on visual and see what happens. So it's much more informative as you can see that it's been properly formatted already. So like visually you can see what you're doing. So depending upon what you're doing, you can switch between the source and visual. But I realize that if you have a very, very big R markdowns, sometimes the visual options is very, very slow. So I can bold the text, you can see that it has created the bold text by putting two stars across the line. You can also do more. You can actually put bullet lists of different kinds. For example, I put this text. I can change this to either a dot formatted bullet list or numbered. So, so far so good. Let's start making a bit more progress. So let's see this output now. We expect to see a bullet list there. That's fine. It's all good. So our aim today is to create a word template. But before I do that, I just want to add another R chunk in there so that we can put a chart. So to do that, I can put some options in there. And remember, all the other options we have put up at the top, so we don't have to repeat anything, which is quite good. But we can put uh, a caption for our chart or a figure dot caption is called fig dot caption and you define what you want to see. 
So let me quickly put some code for a bar chart. We have plenty of videos on ggplot. If you are interested in that, you, you can watch our complete playlist. So with this word document, I should have some text and also a figure or a chart. So let's see where the figure is. Yeah, figure is there looking good. By default, the figure is centered always. But if you want to change the alignment to the left, you can actually put that in the option figure dot align equals left. So if I run it, our chart should move to the left side. So our final output for our markdown is ready. Now is the time to make changes and start creating a template. To create a template, you can simply open a brand new Word document or you can even exist, use the existing file. I'm actually using an existing file. It doesn't really matter if it contains any text or not. It's not going to matter. So I've made some changes in, in the Word document. I'm just going to save it. The idea is to save it in the same folder where you have your code, but that's not necessary. You can save it anywhere you want and simply refer it with a forward slash, for example, C colon forward slash document slash your Word document, etc. So to refer your file, you have to use the reference underscore docx command and then give the name of the file. Because it's sitting in my folder or the working directory, I don't have to define the, the, the directory like c, c colon forward slash etc. Otherwise, you can put it anywhere and refer it accordingly. So with the correct file or the template, I'm now ready to run it and see if the output has changed in any way. Yeah, so the output has changed. We can see that the look and feel has been applied. The template is working. So I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.